Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Tuesday the 28th of June. The local media headlines today. Now it's taken more than 30 years but we finally now know what the Department of Health was really worried about following Britain's worst ever mass poisoning incident at Camelford in 1988. It was worried about its reputation. Documents which have remained under lock and key at the National Archive show how government officials considered trying to sue a local environmental campaigner for defamation after she questioned their competence and integrity. In the end, they decided against it, fearing this would only attract more publicity. Councillors have rejected official advice and decided not to increase the cash tolls on the Tamar Bridge until next year. It means that local people who use the bridge regularly with a prepaid tag have already seen a price increase, but that tourists, who tend to pay by cash, will get an extra three months. And it looks as if work is finally getting started on the footbridge which links Edgesdale and Wadebridge months after it was due to start. The BBC was among those to report the latest problems with the Torpoint Ferry. The service is down to only two vessels until Thursday after one of the Cross River chains broke on Friday. Pirate FM caught up with the increasing Covid cases in Cornwall, warning people to remain vigilant as the tourist season gets underway. The Falmouth Packet reported an arson attack on the Kimberley Parked toilets. The Cornish Times says the recent Saltash Music Festival was a resounding success. And finally, Cornwall Live has gone back to doing stories about Gordon Ramsay. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.